In this video, we're going to look at how to show inequalities on a graph. They look like this. Before we start, you need to know how to plot straight lines onto graphs. So you may need to brush up on that first. Let's have a look at an example. See how the less than or equal to line is a solid line, whereas the line that is just less than is a dotted line. This is easy to remember. Just think, because the or equal to is an extra bit, it needs to be a solid line. It has everything involved. Whereas, when it's just less than, or it's just more than, it's missing the or equal to part, and so is a dotted line. It's missing bits. So looking back at our example, because x is less than or equal to 1, firstly, it's a solid line because it's or equal to. We then shade to the left of the line x equals 1. Because for x, we want everything that is less than 1. And then looking at y equals 3, it's a dotted line because there's no or equals to. And we shade everything underneath the line because we want everything that's less than 3. The area that satisfies both inequalities is this section here. So that's the region that we want. Here's two for you to do. Pause the video, shade the region and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? What if we have diagonal lines? We first need to rearrange the equation to make y the subject. Then plot this line onto the graph with a dotted line because there's no or equals to. Because the inequality is less than the line, we shade everything underneath the line. Here's one for you to do. Pause the video, shade the region and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? We can even shade regions that are bound by multiple inequalities. Start by plotting all three lines onto the graph. Then do the shading. X is more than 1 is this way. Y is less than 3 is down here. And Y is bigger than the line is here. The only region that has been shaded by all three is this bit. So that's the answer. Give this one a go. Pause the video, shade the region and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? So there we have graphing inequalities. The only new thing to remember is that if the inequality is or equal to, then it's a solid line. However, if it's just more than or less than, so it's missing the or equals to part, it's a dotted line, it's missing part of the line. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.